This is Vinny TV, representing the coolest part of the continent, which is North, discontinuing the policy of not drinking wine. And in the blue corner, weighing in at 52 kilos and 152 centimeters, drinking out from Helsinki, Finland, Arto, <laughs> the wine devil, Koskelo! And his manager, Ilkka Siren. What's up? <laughs> Nothing much, I made you my manager. Well, to be honest, I'm the one who's looking more of a fighter. Probably, yeah. 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 I, I would want to end up in, a, in an octagon with this guy. In a dark alley, yeah. <laughs> or in a dark alley. So he brought these wines in a, and it seems like a heavyweight kind of a wine. Well, it is sort of like a fighter in itself, uh, in its own right. It looks like a pit bull in a <laughs> shape of a bottle of wine. It's uh, called Abbot's Cumulonimbus. It's from Minervoa region, uh, which is pretty much southern France, Languedoc. And there's one thing wrong with this wine. I mean, it's coming from France. But in the back label, it says it's made out of uh, gnarly old Shiraz wines. Not Syrah, but Syrahs. Really? And if you can uh, just come here, I'll show you. So this wine is coming from here, from uh, next to Toulouse, close to Carcassonne. And the region uh, where the Syrah grape variety originally came from is like here, one millimeter here. <laughs> but instead of calling it Syrah, they're calling it Shiraz. So we have to go 15,000 kilometers away, all the way here to Australia, to get the, get the idea to call it Shiraz. Doesn't make really sense now, does it? I merk you! I merk you! <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> I guess the story is that the guy who's making the wine, yeah, you guessed this, from Australia. Well, it kind of makes sense then to actually... But does it really say uh, Gnarly... Gnarly... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ. And something about terroir. So it's a perfect blend between uh, French culture and the Australian. Well, Good I eye, mate! We have the best terroir! Well, I think, you know, Australia is kind of like the France of the... That part of the world. <laughs> I mean, seriously, if you think about uh, uh, people coming from the United States or from Australia, uh, coming to France to make wine, so where do they go? It's obvious they go to Languedoc. Woo! I mean, they don't go to Bordeaux. No, why would they? No, or to Champagne. Okay. They go to Languedoc. Alright. So, this wine is something like 18 euros in Finnish markets, so it's not uh, the cheapest possible. So, let's see how serious it is. I'm, I'm afraid it might be a bit oaky. So as a... Yeah, it is a bit oaky. Okay. No, <laughs> not even a bit. Just a bit. But all weather forecaster, what, what actually cumulonimbus, what kind of a cloud is it? Is it a cloud? I think it's... Isn't, you, you've been studying these kind of things, right? You have? It's, it's a cloud. It's the a cloud. cameraman is full of surprises, I have to tell you. <laughs> yes, there are quite many, he's expert in quite <laughs> many areas of uh, knowledge. Yeah. I mean, but, I would understand but, if but it would be or... I no, mean, no, no. you've been to Marseille, mm -hmm. and in Marseille uh, it's something like 330 sunny days per year. So what's... what's <laughs> I don't sorry? know. That, that's, that's a curious Clouds thing. Clouds in southern France? I don't know. I have no idea. But it's uh, probably this kind of Australian humor, I guess. Might be. <laughs> Give your. Uh, it's it's very concentrated. It's it's kind of like this fistful of grapes and pow in your face. Uh, it's something like a, like a cocoa butter uh, in your nose. Yeah, bacon strips. Yeah, bacon strips up in this bitch. This is a wife beater of a wine. <laughs> wife beater of a. So all of you wife beaters out there, go get cumulonimbos and meet you in a dark alley. <laughs> On a dark alley, yeah. But then again, on the palate, it's disturbingly balanced. Actually, it's quite tasty. It's like a sinfully tasty, like in a decadent kind of way. It's full of everything, but it pleases your palate. I mean, you have the acidity, you have the full-body fruit, you have everything going on. Well, that's the, the main difference probably from Australia that actually has a backbone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And as a, a backbone meaning, I mean, sorry for Australia. It's not just a full body wife beater, you know? Yeah, not Could I might? <laughs> talking about the people, the wine. No, I love Australia. I've been there. I really love the place. <laughs> really, really. Yeah, I really do. <laughs> but it has acidity, which kind of makes a, makes a difference and makes it more drinkable in a way. Yeah. So, I mean, if this one would be without acidity, I would throw it from the balcony, probably. Yeah, and its style is modern, it's fresh. Full body, so I guess you could call it some being somewhere in the middle of uh, New World and Old World. It's, it's more like a New World wine, but it's made in France. So, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> sounds complicated. I have to give uh, this wine thumb up, although it's not the style I usually prefer on my dinner uh, dinner table, but I kind of like it. I mean, this wine could 
easily go with some uh, some hard cheeses, for example. Uh, nothing special, but I, I, it has this full body kind of thing, so I wouldn't really pair it with any delicate dishes. Like whole roasted lamb, you know? Stews. Or a big bull. Or bacon. Anyway, it's good stuff. Uh, you should definitely check it out. Uh, in the end, we have some sort of a question. Pop, pop yes. the question. In this world of Syrah and Shiraz, do you actually still drink Australian Shiraz? I'll leave it, leave it like that. <laughs> leave it like that. That's the question of the day. So please answer the question and put your comment uh, on below, in Facebook or at the page, and uh, share and our stuff. Yeah, there's a, there's a button right under Arto's ball sack, uh, which you push it, and then you can see Google plus one, you know, Facebook, like Twitter, share our stuff. It really helps us a lot. And if you don't, then fuck you. Wow, that was horrible way to end it. <laughs> yes, I don't know. Now you understand why I hate this fellow so many times. I need to so thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye.